Hey there, curious minds, before we dive into the depths of immortality, remember to hit that subscribe button. Now why should you do that, you might wonder? Well, each like, each subscription fuels our journey into the vast and intriguing world of knowledge. It's your support that keeps us going and ensures you never miss out on our exciting content. Alright, now that you are part of our awesome community, let's dive into the juicy topic of immortality. Ever wondered what it would be like? Scene script. Think about it. Being immortal is like being a sea turtle. They live for hundreds of years. Imagine blowing out birthday candles for 200 years in a row. Talk about a lung workout. Now let's dive a bit deeper into the concept of immortality. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? Having all the time in the world to do whatever you please. Strolling through the centuries while everyone and everything around you changes. Time would become your playground, and you would be the eternal observer, always present, always watching. But what would it mean for your life? For starters, you'd probably become the ultimate jack of all trades. Think of all the skills you could master, the languages you could learn, the books you could read, you could watch civilizations rise and fall, witness the birth of new stars, and even outlive the sun. Yet, immortality isn't all sunshine and centuries. There would be challenges too. Like the sea turtle you'd witness many waves of change. Friends, family, even nations would come and go, but you'd remain, a constant in an ever-changing world. You'd also have to grapple with the concept of boredom, when you've read all the books, learned all the languages and seen all there is to see, what's left to keep your interest? Maybe that's why sea turtles spend so much time sleeping, but hey, at least you'd never have to worry about forgetting your own birthday. Sure, being immortal sounds cool. You could watch all the Netflix shows without worrying about time, but remember, every rose has its thorns. Now let's dive into the pros and cons of immortality. Because as much as we'd all love to have an eternity to finally get through our two watch lists, there are some significant drawbacks to consider. First, the advantages. Imagine never having to worry about time. You could learn every language, read every book, master every instrument, and still have time to watch every cat video on the internet. You could see the world change, witness the rise and fall of civilizations, and watch as technology advances beyond our wildest dreams. You'd have the time to truly understand the world and its intricacies. But now let's flip the coin. With immortality, some things that are already tedious become downright unbearable. Ever waited at the DMV? Now imagine that wait stretching out into infinity. The boredom alone could drive you mad. And speaking of madness, imagine watching your favorite sitcom reruns for the millionth time. Then there's the issue of relationships. You'd watch as everyone you love grows old while you remain the same. The loneliness could be crushing. And while we're on the topic of staying the same, consider your physical state. If you become immortal at 80, you're stuck with those creaky knees and bad back for eternity. And if you think finding a comfortable pair of shoes is hard now, just wait until you've been wearing them for a few centuries. Finally, there's the issue of overpopulation. If no one ever died, we'd run out of room pretty quick. You might have to bunk with your great, 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 great grandchildren. Talk about awkward family reunions. So, Immortality might not be all it's cracked up to be, but let's wrap things up and see what we've learned. So, we've learned that being immortal might mean you get to watch all the Netflix shows, but it also means you might spend eternity in a queue. Sounds like a fair trade-off, right? Let's do a quick rewind. Remember the tale of the immortal sea turtles? The ones who've seen centuries pass by while still carrying their homes on their backs? That's one perspective of immortality. A life filled with wisdom and experience but also a lot of shell maintenance. We also weighed the pros and cons of eternal life. On one hand, you'd have unlimited time to master every single hobby known to mankind. But, on the other hand, you'd also have to witness many goodbyes, which can be a bit of a downer. So, immortality, a blessing or a curse, that's up to you to decide. Who knew immortality could be such a mixed bag? But hey, at least you'd never run out of time to hit that subscribe button.